India's Chandrayaan-3, its third lunar mission, achieved a triumphant soft landing at the moon's South Pole on Wednesday, marking India's distinction as the first country to reach this challenging lunar region. This feat establishes India as a global space power and interestingly, the Indian lunar program holds a connection with Tamil Nadu. Tamil Nadu's link to the Chandrayaan-3 mission centers around three prominent scientists from the state who have spearheaded each of India's crucial moon missions. Malay Sami Anadurai, known as the Moon Man of India, led the inaugural Chandrayaan mission in 2008. M. Vanita led the Chandrayaan-2 mission in 2019, while M. Veera Muthuvel heads the ongoing Chandrayaan-3 program. Namakkal district, situated around 400 kilometers from Chennai, has been a consistent supplier of soil to the Indian Space Research Organization since 2012 for testing the capabilities of Chandrayaan missions. This region's abundant soil resources proved crucial when ISRO required soil similar to that found on the lunar surface, particularly at the moon's south pole. Tamil Nadu's soil composition closely resembles the lunar surface's anorthosite, an intrusive igneous rock type. In the wake of Chandrayaan-1's success, roughly 50 tons of soil akin to lunar terrain were dispatched to ISRO. Rigorous tests conducted by ISRO scientists confirmed the compatibility of Namakkal soil with the lunar landscape. Thus, the Chandrayaan 3's historic accomplishment is not only a testament to India's space capabilities, but also a tribute to the contributions of Tamil scientists and the availability of suitable soil from Tamil Nadu for simulating lunar conditions. The state's contribution to the success of the Moon mission is immense, and when it comes to the soil supply, it is evidently acknowledged that even if a Chandrayaan 4 mission comes up, the state would be geared to supply the soil for it. Subscribe to One India channel and never miss an update.